Welcome guys, my name is Matthias and yes, it's Sunday today and I thought to myself after I finished the game with my son and we got a very very bad seed, um, like we had to sail for like three hours um, in real, you know, in real time, it probably took us like 10 days to sail some to a certain boss, seeds can definitely change your experience, so in today's episode, I'm going to show you guys 10 awesome seeds for Valheim. And what I mean by awesome seeds is you've always got the choice to play on a random seed. Okay, that is what I've done with my son to finish the game. And that's what I'm doing on my One Life Hardcore Challenge. But like I told you guys, after I finished, um, after I finished the One Life, I am going to have an awesome playthrough with a custom seed, which I will show you. That will be the last seed that I'll show you, which I will choose for my awesome playthrough. And then I'll be using um, minimal mods just to make the experience a lot more immersive. But in any case, the first seed, I will put the seed names down in the description below. It's not random generated. I went through every kind of name I could think of, you know, in every kind of cool name I could think of so that we don't have to remember gibberish codes so that we can just remember names. So um, the first one out of the top 10 awesome tips, uh, awesome um, seeds for Valheim is Tornado. One thing you guys must remember, all the names start with a capital letter, okay? The rest of the letters are lowercase, but the first letter of every single one starts with a capital letter. So Tornado is the first one that we're going to look at. And Tornado, as you can see right here in front of you, what I love about Tornado is that it's got three traders on your starting island, okay? So it's almost impossible to miss the trader because the trader gets um, seen on the map quite early. Okay, I don't think it's like it was in the beginning. The trader pops up, you know, very, very quickly and the icon is extremely big so you can't miss it. So yeah, we spawn here, we can kill the first boss here, then we can kill the second boss there or either there. We've got the traders with us, which is really, really great. We've got about um, five snow biomes on this you know, on our main island we've got enough meadows we've got way we've got more than enough um black forest areas and then we've even got two little swamp areas here as well and if we just cross this little ocean we've got a heck of a lot of swamp area here as well and we can definitely walk over this way and then if we put down a boat here we can get to a bunch of other swamp ground as well and just have a look at the plains and then, yeah, the, the great thing is after we finish with the Elder, we can just, you know, make a little raft here, go to Bone Mass. And when we're bo done with Bone Mass, you know, we can follow the same route and then go to Mordor. And then when we finish with Mordor, again, this is our entire island. We can just go over the water here and go to Yagluth. Okay, so for the first one in the list, it's not a bad one as well, and like I say, I'll put it down in the description, Tornado with a capital T. Okay guys, so number two on the list of the top 10 awesome, um, no, or 10 awesome seeds for Valheim is Haldor. Okay, Haldor, that you start with an H, it's H-A-L-D-O-R, capital H. Haldor is the trader's name, so... You know, it's definitely a name that I used with a random C generator. And yeah, again, two traders on you. Very nice big island. Um, uh, Lots of swamps. You know, when you get to Mordor, you're going to have to get through plains, which is quite a bit difficult. And then getting to Yagluth is not too difficult as well. So again, all the bosses um, are quite close to you. But the main focus point for me about the seed was the Bone Mass Island. Okay, so I thought this this um, seed is really cool because you can make a cool, you know, um, swamp island base. You know, if you like making a base in the swamps that looks really creepy, you know, you can live in this. You can live on your own swamp island. Okay, where. Um, yeah, you know, there's no other biomes basically. I think this is a little biome here, but yeah, you know, the, the swamp island 
definitely stood out for me. Again, a really big map. And then, yeah, there is some sailing, you know. We have to sail from here to there to get to Mordor. And we have to sail from there to there to get to Bone Mass. And then, you know, Yagluth is easy to get to as well. Lots of biomes, lots of open oceans. And just a very good seed. But the focus point of the seed was basically, you know, call it Skull Island or whatever the case may be. Okay, guys, so the third, the third seed um, is called Nature. And yeah. Like I said, I spent I spent about five hours, you know, just putting in random names to see what we can come up with. And the focus point for nature is that it looks very naturous, you know. The island looks very, I like the look of the island. It's very, very green, okay, which I like. There's plains very, very close to it, you know, and then there's not a lot of swamps. But I mean, you can get to swamps, you know, quite easily. And the big thing for me is that it does, it's got exploration, but not exploration that kills you. So I like the look of the island, first of all. But there is some exploration, you know, you have to work at it to find the trader. Um, and yeah, if you don't find the trader, yeah, so having the seed, having a copy of the seed is very important or will help you a lot because if you don't find the trader, yeah, you're going to be, you're going to be lost finding the trader, but it's got average, um, exploration. It's a good mixture of everything. You know, and the whole, the whole three islands here reminds me of a nice nature and nature feeling. It's got an island here, the elder island, you know, which you can make your own little island. Um, it's got, you know, it's got nice places, but when you, when, when I'm looking at this map, I'm just thinking there's good exploration. You know, we have to, we have to use the ship to get here. Um, and then get to Mordor. And then there's a bit of exploration to get to Yagluth. You know, then we even have to make a raft or something to get to the trader. So it's a good mixture of everything. So yeah, yeah. It's exploration but not exploration that kills you, okay? It won't be frustrating. It's, it's a good balance of everything. It's just important that you know that the trader is going to be to your right. You know, you don't have to print out the seed or that you have to know, you can just make notes. Trader on right, you know? Uh, bone mass motor to the south. Um, Yagluth, you know, is basically southeast. That's the only notes that you have to make for yourself if you don't want to waste a lot of time and then you can just enjoy yourself. Okay, guys, the fourth seed um, for the 10 most awesome seeds in Valheim. Not the, it's just 10 awesome seeds, okay? Not the most awesome seeds. Okay, this one is called Hardcore, capital H, okay? Hardcore. And I had to give you guys a few arrows just so that it will make sense for you guys. Okay, so first of all, we start here. We can get to the elder quite quickly and we can get to the trader quite quickly, which helps a lot. Then we're going to need to explore to get to bone mass. Okay. And um, luckily Mordor, um, um, uh, Mordor is, um, or Mordor, no, not Mordor, Mordor, Mordor is on our island but then we're gonna have to explore to get to Yagluth as well so yeah that's why i thought this looks quite hardcore you know there's a heck of a lot of swamps here there's a heck of a lot of plains here you start out nicely you know and then the traders buy you which is a nice quality of life for you to start on your island you know the, you have to sail to get to uh, bone mass then you can then you can relax to kill Mordor, or you can go to that island to go to kill Mordor. You know, and you can go to this little island to kill Yagluth, okay? But the route that I would like to take, because this is a very small place, you're not going to get a lot of resources here. The route that I would like to take is to kill Yagluth here and explore these plains. And the coolest thing here is that when you get to Yagluth's island, you can go walk right down to the south biome here, the Ashlands, okay? You can walk right into the Ashlands without a ship, which is quite cool. Um, but yes, quite far spread out. I can see a few difficulties, um, in this, but yeah, it's not really, really hardcore, you know, but, um, the name of the seed is hardcore with a capital H. Okay. So the next seed we're looking at is far. 
Okay, and the note that I made to this seed, literally the seed's name is Far, you know, capital, capital F. Um, the note that I made is it's a good all-rounder. That's the only real note that I made um, for this, okay? Um, if you go for the LD, you're going to get the trader immediately. So you've got the three, you've got the three first bosses on your island, which is a nice quality of life. Okay. And then you can follow your island down here to get to, you know, like if, um, if you get the spawn location at bone mass, then you can follow your island to get to Modor. And then, yeah, getting to Yagluth, you can get to Yagluth easily as well. Okay. And yeah, there's a lot of planes and there's a lot of swarms. And I, th that's all I was thinking of. All I thought about was it's a good, it's a good all rounder map because you've got the trade on your island. You've got the plains, the black forest, the swamps and the, the snow, you know, the snow biomes on your island, you know, which you can use. And then as soon as you, you know, cross the ocean, you're going to get to other biomes. And then Yagluth, you know, isn't too far away. But you can do most of your work on your island, okay? And then you can just get to Modor quickly and you can get to Yagluth. So, mental note here, it's just a good all-rounder. Okay, so seed number six is called Survival, with a capital S. Okay, some cool, easy names for you guys to remember. The mental note that I made on Survival is great resources okay that's the biggest note that i made about this um, seed it's just i like the resources okay you start here you've got a nice easy path to the elder and um, you've got a nice easy path to bone mass you've got a nice easy path to um motor and then you've got a you know you've got a nice easy path to yagluth and all your resources are quite close you can farm the heck out of this place and then you can get to the, you know, there's a swamp, there's a swamp, there's a swamp. You know, three big swamp areas. And then years, plains, 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 plains. There's a lot of plains here, you know, and then there's enough snow biomes here. So survival, first of all, is a cool seed name with a capital S. And yeah, there's a lot to like. The resources was a very, very important thing for me here. And then quality of life, you know, with the trader. Um, you know, with the first three bosses on your island, basically the first four bosses on your island, one, two, three, four. Yeah, first four bosses on your island, Yagluth, very close to you. So yeah, survival with an S. Okay, guys, the seventh seed is called Travel. Travel with a capital T. Like I say, I will put the seed names down in the description below. Um, Travel with a T. And focus point here is be a pirate, like, you know, like Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, you can be a pirate, okay, because everywhere you go, you have to sail, okay? So you're going to get your first boss here, you're going to get your second boss, probably going to have to use a raft or something here to get to your second boss, and then you're going to run into your trader, which is nice, okay? But you're only going to get your first two bosses on this island. And then you have to start becoming a pirate, okay? For instance, you're going to have to try and get through here. You know, you're either going to have to pickaxe a route through here or you're going to have to sail around this island to get to bone mass, okay? So sailing, being a pirate, is the, mo is the main focus here, okay? And then looking at Modor, you can maybe get him down here or you have to sail there, okay? But you can take a shortcut. But maybe they give you that spawn point first, and you have to sail to him. And then you have to sail to Yagluth as well. Okay, so no big islands really, okay? It's scattered, but there's no massive island really. And sailing is the, the main focus of the travel seed, okay? So this seed is called Travel with a capital T, and it's focused on being a pirate. Just sailing the seas, you know? and enjoying yourself and it will take time as you can see the distance that you have to travel it will take time but again i you know the five hours i spent looking at seeds getting a trader on the island yeah was quite a nice thing
just a nice quality of life. Because I like to start fishing early, boys. I like to start fishing early. <laughs> okay. Okay, the eighth one is called Immersive with an I. Again, it will be down in the description below. Immersive. The seed's name is Immersive with an I at the beginning. Okay. And this. Again, just, just a very, very nice map for me. Um, no big, no, no really big notes. Let me just check here quickly. Um, what I said, nice exploration. Okay. So yeah, just a nice exploration map. Again, we, um, we focused on the trader being on the island. Okay. Then we have to go to bone mass and we have to sail to Modor, which isn't too far. And then we have to sail to Yargluth, which isn't too far. And yeah, we've got all the resources very close to us. And I just, I just like it. I just like the island. Okay. This is your starting place. You're not going to get any bonuses here, but you've got the starting place. Then you, you know, I'm not sure what I marked here, uh, but in any case, you can, you know, you can make a, you can make a shit, uh, you can put your bow down, get to the elder very quickly or the trader, or you can run. It's your choice. But I mean, if you start here, you know, you can put down a, a base year or year, whatever the case would be. Yeah. Sail across the ocean year. Um, oh, you'll probably put down a boat here to get to Modor and you'll put a boat here to get to Bone Mass and Yagrith. Okay. But in any case, um, no. Very, very nice seed. And let's get to the next one. Okay, boys. This one is called Lutharius. Not Luthias. Lutharius. Okay. I tried various combinations of my name. Couldn't get to anything that I really liked. But Lutharius worked out nicely. And again, cap just a capital L. -L and it, the name will be down in the description uh, below. But yes, um, Lutharius, the seed, I made a funny little note. Not everything to the left, but everything to the right. You know, Beyonce sings that one song, to the left, to the left, blah, 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 blah whatever that song is. Um, and I just thought to myself, yo, this map is nice to focus on the right. Okay. So again, um, I just made a note for you here. The trader is here. So when you're done, you're going to go to the elder. And as soon as you walk a bit down, you'll see the trader. So you've got your nice little island here. Um, you can, you know, you can put your, your base here and then just clear a path to get into the ocean here. But everything's to the right, you know, so there's not a lot to remember. You start, you go right for the elder. Then you just go a little bit down for the trader. Okay. And then you go across the island. You definitely don't want to go through the plains. Okay. So you just want to know that everything must go to the right. So you're going to have to try and get through here without being killed by death skeetos. Then you have to get to bone mass. After bone mass, you have to get Mordor. And you know, after you've done, Yagluth will be closer. But yes, the seed's name is Lutharius and everything to the right. Okay. Very nice quality of life. You don't have to wonder where you have to go. You just line up where you start, you know, and you just go right. If you pull a straight line through, it's just Yagluth that's a little bit down. Okay. But from the starting, from the starting location, everything to the right. Nice exploration. Nice island. Nice seed. Okay, boys, we've got the last one and we left the best one for last. This is the seed that I will be using for my third playthrough. And I will be printing out this map to make it as, you know, as um, fast as possible. I'll try and do a speed run with it. And it's on this seed that I'll be using five mods, which doesn't change the difficulty as at all, just as quality of life. To give you an example, I'm going to use the mod where your clothing has got their own slots, okay? Because your clothing takes like four extra slots in your inventory. That's quite frustrating. And the UI will look a little bit better. There will be a first person option, you know, and then I think two more. Um, but nothing, you know, those were the, those are going to be the three main ones. And um, the fact that 
you'll have extra clothing slots. The UI will be better and maybe first person. Okay, that's it. So for now, I'm just focusing on three mods. If I can add two more mods that adds quality of life, it will be good. But nothing that cheeses the game. No portals, you know, that you can just travel through and shit like that. But in any case, this one's called Storm. This is the TC that I'm going to be starting my, my, you know, my best playthrough on, which I'm going to edit to death. Uh, but this one I'm going to have the most amount of fun on. It's a very, very big island. And, you know, I've just showed you guys how smoothly this is going to go. Because you're going to start here then you're not going to get a notice point for the elder okay so as soon as you're done in the black forest they're going to tell you that the elder is there okay and then you're going to go to the elder kill the elder and as soon as you go a bit down you're going to get the trader and then after the trader you're going to get bone mass and motor right next to each other and then from here you can get go back to yagluth or you can just go kill bone mass in this big swamp if you want to Okay, and then, yeah, in the Yagluth area, you can take a boat to um, get to those planes. You can take a boat to use these planes for extra few resources. All the resources are, are very, very close. Okay, Bone Mass has got a big swamp area here. Um, here you can take a boat. There you can take a boat. Okay, so you've got a ton of resources um, that you can use. Okay, there's everything that I like about this, about the seed. The fact that I can get to all the bosses um, is great, you know. Um, and yeah. Basically, I've sailed a lot in the game. You know, I've been, I've been on a boat for hours and hours and hours because of bad seeds. Um... This one will basically just be be a test for me to see how fast I can um, finish the game. It will be a speed run, but again, a one life speed run. So I won't, you know, I won't um, be doing stupid cheese mechanics. I am making notes as I'm finishing my one life challenge at the moment. I've got a writing pad right next to me, so I'm making notes on how to progress to the 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 weapons or the armor or whatever I need to get to as fast as possible. Um, but there will be, there will still be some exploration, you know, um, like, I don't know where the, I don't know where the beehives are. I don't know where the crypts are, you know, but at least I can see how the map works and I'm going to see if I can do a speed run on this, but this is the seed that I'm going to use guys. It's not the best seed in the world, but storm is the number one seed. And yeah, that is the. You know, that is the, te the 10 awesome seeds for Valheim. This is my favorite seed, Storm. And now I'm just going to show you guys three bonus seeds and then the seed that um, a Reddit user, you know, um, discovered that a lot of people use for speedruns. Okay, guys. Here are the four bonus seeds that we're just going to run through quickly. Um, I'll add the... Sorry that I didn't put it in the description, but I'll add the seed name for you guys in the description as well. This is the Reddit seed, which they feel speedruns can be done on. Just a few little notes um, on the on the seed generator. You know, you can um, see where the beehives are. And one thing you never have to worry about, I've looked through thousands of seeds. There's always three eggs on a mountain, okay, especially where Modor is. So you don't have to worry about, you know, going to other mountains to make sure that you can get three eggs. There will always be three eggs, okay, on Modor's mountain. So don't worry about that. If if there isn't three seeds, guys, you are like in the one or two percent of people that are extremely unlucky. Okay, but don't worry. The the first seed that I got with my son was the worst exploration seed I've ever seen in a long time. And then the seed that I'm busy with now doesn't look too great either. You know, even the elder is miles away from me. So that is, that's what made, made me think about seeds. But in any case, this is the Reddit user seed. Okay. So you spawn here. You've got the, you've got Aether here. You've got the trader here. Then where do you go to kill the elder? There's the elder. So the elder is very close. Then you kill Bone Mass. Then you go across the ocean and kill Modor. And then you go across the ocean and kill Yagluth. Okay, so 
this is a good seed that a Reddit user got. If you guys have discovered any seeds that you think is much better than my favorite seed, my storm seed, or that's much better than this seed, you know, put it down in the comments below. Um, and please, out of the 10, and not these bonus ones, you can include the bonus ones if you want to, but, um, you know, in the comments down below, tell me which one of my 10 you know, awesome seeds that I've given you, which one looks like your favorite, you know? Let's have a discussion down in the comments below, which one would you like to use? Which one looks more fun to you? You know, which one is more your playing style? That is basically why I'm giving you guys these seeds so that you've got choice. You know, not everyone is the same. Not everyone wants to play the same way. Maybe you are, you love exploration, so you like that pirate one. And you'd like to know where everything is. Or, you know, you just do it on a random seed. That's fine. But in any case, this is the Reddit seed. Okay. Then we've got the seed called Skill. Okay. I, um, that's yeah. All my seeds are names. They're nothing we, um, you know, no gibberish. So skill. The mo the note I made is bit more of a challenge. So you're going to start here. Um, you've got the trader on the island. You must go down for the elder. Then the next one you want here is bone mass. So where is bone mass? You've, again, you've got a massive island, so you have to go up here to get bone mass. Is bone mass anywhere else? Okay, so you have to go far to bone mass. And then Modor is also a bit away. So yeah, from your starting location, bone mass and Modor is quite far away. And from your starting location, Yagluth isn't too far away. So you can take a break with Yagluth. Um, but I mean, a way to keep these seeds interesting is not to look at the map, is to not to print out the map, okay? Um, and just make a mental note where the trader is. Because like I say, I like fishing when I start, okay? And I like to use the money that I get quite quickly. So getting the trader is a nice, is a nice feeling. Um, you know, but maybe you don't get this spawn point, you have to travel to that spawn point. I mean, that's not too far from this island to there is not too far. From here to there is very close, so or you can travel your butt off there. But of course, bone mass and motor is a bit of a challenge. So this is skilled. Then we've got Valhalla. Um, the main focus point of Valhalla is a snow castle. Um, I thought it, it's nice that you know you can have your own little um, island here. You can put your ship, you know, in the swamp, in the in the black forest, in the meadows, or in the snow. It's up to you. Um, and yes, you start here, you've got the elder, you've got the trader on your island, you can get to Bone Mash, you can get to Modor, and you can get to Yagluth quite easily. Okay? So, yeah, the focus point of the seed is to make a little snow castle, you know, castle in the snow. And then the last one, everything next to the island. Um, this one's called 82. It's not a name, it's just called 82. I went through numbers 1 to 100, you know? And saw if I found anything good. I did find a few ones, you know, but I had to be picky. Can't give you guys 100 seeds here. So this one is called Everything Next to the Island. So let's see. We start there. Then we kill the first boss. We kill the second boss. We go to Bone Mass. We go to Mordor. And we go to Yagluth. Okay. So that's probably what I thought here. Um, as soon as you go to Bone Mass, you've got two swamps. Um, that's quite enough. Um, you'll see a swamp here on your island and across the river there will be a swamp as well. So there's a lot of resources here. You've got two big snow biomes close to you. and You've got the snow biome here. And you've got a lot of plains right next to your island as well, not too far from the spawn point. So 82, you know, out of the numbered ones, you know, I had to include that. So guys, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and click the like button. Um, and if you want to see future guides like this, um, you know, click the sub button and the bell button to be notified of future videos. And then, yes, tell me which seed was your favorite. And then, you know, if you've got any seed that you think is the greatest thing in the world, give us the code down in the comments below and we can review it. See you guys later. Cheers.